All right. Um, if you watch, if you haven't watched my previous video demonstrating this, I'd recommend you do so. Um, I'll put a link to it in the description. But uh, right now, at least, we're going to build it. A farm, and so you can see how to build it. Um, put this extra stuff in here. I hate that noise, sorry about that. That's uh, single player commands messing with you when you fly for a long time. Anyways, let's build another one. Um, four bits. Um, as I said in the previous video, this can be any number of bits. Um, but I'll build a four bit one. No, I'll, I'll go eight. I'll go with eight. Anyways. Let's start with the counters, which I'm going to use the same color coding I used on this one. So my counters are going to be lime green. And uh, what you'll want to do is you'll start with two blocks like this. I'll, um, I'll, I'll go six bits. Two, three, four, five, six. So these are going to be our six counters in a line here. And then what you're going to do is you're going to build out two and up one for each of these. So you have a bit of an L shape here. Oops. And uh, we'll do this for all of them. And then you're going to put wires on uh, each area. So six wires in a little rectangle like this uh, for each one. And uh, you'll see the concept behind these piston counters uh, as we build them. Okay, so now let's go back to the first one. And, well, first let's plug them all together. So every other one you're going to put a repeater. So wire, repeater, wire, repeater, wire. And then obviously no repeater because there isn't a seventh one. So... Next, um, go here, two blocks over, and then so two blocks over, and then build a shape like that every two blocks, like so. Four, five, and six. And then on the bottom side of each one, you will place a redstone torch, and then on this side, you will also place a redstone torch. These are RS NOR latches. Um, this is the memory cell of the counting unit. And then put a wire here and here on each one. Here and here. Make sure you don't put it there because then it's going to turn on because of the torch. We'll deal with that in a, just a moment. Now, uh, you'll need repeaters. Two repeaters. Make sure, it's very important, make sure the first one is set to 1 and the second one is set to 2 for a total of 3 ticks. So 1 and 2, like so. Do this for each counter. Or, uh, well really what these are are toggle flip-flops. That uh, The only thing is that they need a very short input pulse. And then here make a little L shape of wire, like so for each one. And then put wires up here. Now what we're going to do is uh, right there on top of that, three blocks over. So, then a wire on either end, like so, and then repeaters, set them to three, so they have the same delay as the repeaters on the bottom. Like that. And then, all you need to do is, I'm going to use cyan wool for uh, the blocks that the pistons push, but put a piston, and then any block, it doesn't matter. But I'm using cyan so it's easier to see 
uh, once the entire unit is together. Put the piston right there in each one, and then a block on the end. And the concept behind this is um, either the block is here, or the block is here. So the signal can either travel straight forward, or to the right, and up above, uh, depending on the state of the piston. So it, it ends up working as a binary count. And each one works as a toggle flip flop. The only problem is you can't, if you hold down, uh, if you have a long input pulse, it causes problems. Let me reset this to zero. So you're going to need a short pulse for this. So your clock on whatever you're using, or whatever you're using this for, um, I'm personally building these to use in computers, obviously the program counters. But um, if you're just using this as a counter, make sure you have a short input pulse, um, four ticks or less, ideally. Um, now let's uh, okay, let's wire the reset bus next to that will reset everything to zero. So put repeaters in front of each of these. Oops, some lag there. And then run a wire down, like so. So you turn this on, they all turn on. We'll add repeaters to this in a moment. Then, um, now let's put this on a monostable circuit, which looks like that. So, just follow what I'm doing here. Oops, I, I messed this up. That's it. Yeah. Okay. So you've got that, and then make sure these are all set to one. For a total of four ticks, and you get a four tick pulse. So you, no matter how long this pulse is, the output is always only four ticks long. That's pulse limiter, monostable circuit, whatever you want to call it. Um, I'll break that. No, I don't want to break that. Um, I'm going to put a torch here just so I can measure my distance here so I don't have to count it out myself. And uh, let's put a repeater here. And uh, just so they all have equal delay, see this will take two ticks to get to each of these, but only one tick to get to these ones. So let's set all these to two ticks and uh, replace this how it was. So you see all those will, well, if it weren't for the lag, all of them would turn on simultaneously. Now for, uh, so your reset input is going to be here, it should be a button or whatever, or uh, if it's part of the logic of your computer, it'll reset the entire counter to zero, no matter what it's already set. Um, next part, let's do outputs, which I'm going to do in gray. Uh, just like I did with the last one. Go to the right, and then out a couple blocks. Well, more than a few, but these are going to be your outputs. And uh, you'll plug this into your ROM or whatever, whatever you need a counter for. Oops, sorry. Okay, I thought I right clicked on that, I didn't. and just run wires out, and you don't have to, but I like putting repeaters on the end so it's easier to see um, what your output value is. And uh, this will obviously work right now, should work right now, as a regular counter. So now that we've got that done, it's time for the clock. Um, which I'll do in blue, I suppose. You can see over here, this is a simple clock hooked up to a pulse limiter. Which, um, actually, we'll do the clock last because there are different places the clock needs to be hooked up to that we haven't built yet. So, um, yeah, alright, well, I'm going to cut the video here and I'll make a second part where we do branching, which is the yellow there. Right now, this does not support branching.